morning, two ladies! My name is Jacksepticeye, okay, and welcome back to the devil in me. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Wait, somebody's caught already? Oh lord, he's making dolls of people. Great start to the day. Is it the lady from the start of the game? Oh my god, does he taxidermy them? Oh, we saw bits of that as the bird. They set off to Charlie's bedroom. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I think she thought it might help with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed. Okay. I'm not so stressed. I'm not fucking stressed. Uh. That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. <laughs> Look at that subtle off-white coloring. Oh, my God. It even has a watermark. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. <laughs> I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Nice. Damn. I should have had one ready for me. Really Damn. like Patrick Bateman. Did you find them? I no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. I don't understand. Be methodical or desperate. I don't want to be desperate. Do I look desperate? I'm Charlie fucking Lolly. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. Methodical. It's blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. Also, I Go found on, out Charlie. that he's in Go Game on. of Thrones. Just like that. Are you saying somebody took them? I I don't Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. But my controller vibrates on my lap all the time. Uh, <laughs> let's just get on with things. Details matter. I don't want to be frustrated. I'll just... It's fine. Let's just get on with things. Ooh -ta. Ooh -ta. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Why is it my job? Or her, her job. I'm Charlie Lonnie now. It should be your responsibility, Charlie. If you need cigarettes that badly, maybe you should pack them yourself. Maybe you have some in your pocket. Maybe you have some in your fucking jacket. I don't know. Why are you going to get in Erin's ass just because she not got cigarettes in your blue bag? Huh? It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? Oh, you know, I have a spare cap. I have a spare cap. You have a spare cap? You have a spare set of headphones? <laughs> All right, yeah, the no. The scope of this place is... I can't believe we've looked into this. Wee! Here we go! Are you that we'll make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. Grantham Dumet. Exactly. Architect. Exactly, that's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. Ha! You Whoa. think we'll get another season? Look at Let Grantham's carriage. That. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly and I'll make sure you keep working. Let's have and another look at uh, sure. Grantham's carriage. The subtle lining, the embossed colors, that golden print. Very nice. All right. Yeah, and I knew H.H. H. Holmes was really familiar. That was an actual serial killer in America. I knew it. It sounded so familiar. And then as soon as I put up the episode, everyone was like, Jack, it's a real serial killer. He's to he kill a lot of people. He's not going to kill Charlie Lunnett, though. I'm going to make sure that we survive to the very end. <laughs> Every time I think of an accent like that, I think of, like, EastEnders. Anybody? Okay. I have a very substantial American audience, like 60 to 70% of my audience. You're not going to know what EastEnders is. But if you're British, Irish, maybe outside of that, you'll know exactly what EastEnders is. A fucking doubloon! What's she got in it this time? It's got a little badger or a bear. Something. But every time I think of that accent, I just think of like 
Phil Mitchell from EastEnders. Oi, Phil! What you want from me? Or, like... I don't know. Anybody? <laughs> That's British, I guess? Just be Jason Statham for the whole thing. I'm jolly it. I'm getting through the World's Fair Hotel. And I'll kick you in the face. Okay. So Grantham Dumet is just the architect of the building and he has nothing else to do with it. Good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me. It seems we have a mutual interest. I have spent several years constructing the ultimate homes tourist experience by faithfully recreating the World's Fair Hotel. We have not yet opened to the public, as they are not finished in touches to complete, and I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight that is invaluable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. The experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests, so I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. I must insist that this invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced, so please only invite guests that you can trust to do so. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to confirm your attendance and the four additional guests that you would like to bring. Should you accept the limousine, we'll pick you up. Ah, I see. That's what we did. Goody, goody. Charlie Loney. Charlie Loney, it's goody. Gonna do it. Gonna do it. Gonna kill the serial killer. <laughs> Come on, Aaron, you're a sound engineer. You should know Hey Charlie. Bars when you hear I them. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Aaron, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. See, now, I, you've got a British accent, Charlie, so I that sounded different. An assistant. an assistant. Pay your dues versus pay your dues? Idea, Charlie. I'm an just... assistant. Doesn't sound good. A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I no, a fucking magician's assistant. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. No, Aaron, I was being... Hey, I was trying to demolish you emotionally. Office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget. And big stars. Doors of keyholes could be and unlocked using keys. You have to understand. Oh. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth, is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. <laughs> so you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? I'd like to direct a movie. That'd be dope. I have ideas. Who's making all that racket out here? Hitting a bell? Who signed in? Is it us? Kurt Hall. Brad Fisher. I should just read this one. Alright, cool. Doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sure if you... Ooh, there's a key. Jackpot. Aaron. Bing pot. the key. Is there something else over here I could interact with? Nope. Look at me with my lighter. You're gonna burn your thumb. Also, isn't that a Zippo? I don't think you need to hold your thumb on the top of it like a regular lighter. You just fatush, and then it goes. I can do tricks with a Zippo. Bet you didn't know that. I don't smoke, never have, but... It was like a cool party trick. If anyone had one, I was like... Thukink! And I could just open it like that, and everyone was like... <gasps> well done! It made me look like I smoked a lot, but... <coughs> I have asthma. That you could open up things with your cards. Bing pot! Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift yep. shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Mm. 
A gift shop might have cigarettes, and if they have cigarettes, then you'll be able to buy them. And if you buy the cigarettes, I'll be able to smoke them, and then I'll stop being such an unbearable asshole. Yes, Aaron, yes! All right. Hello? Any ciggies? Oh, hey. Oh my god. Mr. Tumet? This looks like, uh, The Shining. Wow. Mr. Grady? An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. No. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? You have a gin and tonic? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> oh! No fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. I'll make sure to give you a tip. Don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> what else we got? You have a lighter. Light some candles. Miss Kelly Schroeder. Once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. Um, what company is this? In honor of them, I've spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I'm proud to say that we are almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony. I promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you will agree that all of your hard work was worth it when you enjoyed the unique hotel experience. That's like getting a gift card for putting in way too much work. It's like, thank you guys so much for crunching for a year and a half to make sure that our product got to launch. As a reward, we would like to gift you two hours of a movie in the break room. You deserve it. <laughs> yes! We are in fucking yes. business! It goes cash. Change. Damn it. I don't have any cash on me ever anymore. For like the last four years, I don't think I've had a single piece of cash anywhere. Oh, let me just rob the place real quick. He's not going to attack me, is he? Is he going to. Am I going to grab this? And he's going to go. What are you doing, Dumet? <laughs> Locked. Damn it. <gasps> but my business card! The subtle embossed lining on it! Nice. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> Next round's on me. Promise. Technically, it's on the house if you're stealing. Oi! 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 Where do I? What? Life would be so much easier. Where was I supposed to bang it? That in my jacket pocket. Could have had my filthy habit. Damn it! Find a way to get the cigarettes out of the dispenser. What? No! No! Please! I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Why can't you rap on the side of it again? Like, why was it a timed thing? You can- you have all the time in the world to smack a machine around. What do you think, Mr. Grady? Your son has been a very naughty boy. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> uh oh. 
Mm. You don't hear those footsteps. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. Uh oh. He's gonna get garroted around the neck. Uh, antique rubbish. Charlie Lunnett, look me. out behind you! Give me my cigarette! Charlie! It's right. A.J. Holmes! That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. How? And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. <laughs> are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Okay, we'll just never answer that. For all you know, Aaron, I was in there with a friend. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I don't deserve this. Oh. <sighs> hey. I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Hey, it just wasn't the right move, okay? The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I'm an auteur. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. But... You look good in any light. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean... They all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. We're hitting the golden hour. Let's go! <laughs> Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. The breakup is harder than I thought. Um, yeah, let's dig a little deeper, huh? Scabs open, let's bleed all over the place. I can't. This is just proving harder than I thought. I don't want to be the one to- And I quote, to accept the reality that this did not and will not work. Sound familiar? Just because I said it doesn't mean I want to accept it. So try harder. Kate didn't like that. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> also, I don't know if filming indoors, even with a skylight, uh, is the, the right way to get natural daylight. Cool angle. Let's find a way up there. Unless this skylight covers the entire How's ceiling. Place? Use my camera to search now. for photo opportunities. Like the camera's reticle will change color when aiming. Keep my shit and crash. Short term lease, so oh. I can take my time to find something I really like. That's. <laughs> mm, this is how time. I take pictures. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, just saying. Okay. You want to get? You want to get flashbangs? Sleeping on the couch in the <laughs> studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right. Okay. Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for a light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. The door's open and you were standing next to it. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, oh. it makes for some weird ass rules. Oh, that was my flash, not the camera. So since we can't do it tomorrow, <laughs> is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? So artistic. 
so artistic. You guys are going to love these shots. I can't move around. I have to like get into position and then take the shot. TAKE THE SHOT! What else do we want pictures of? You know what? Screw this! I want to take photos! This is way more fun than listening to you berate me about our breakup. Am I crazy or did we not come from this direction? Nope. Probably came from that room right there that's open. Anything in my room I can take a picture of? Oh my god, why are you breathing so loud? Do you have asthma as well? What's this? Uh huh. From the good times. Chicago, 19. Oh, I still carry the picture everywhere with me. There, I'll just put it back on the floor. <laughs> That's where I like to keep my memories. Close to the earth. Oh yeah, this is a good shot right here. Look at this. Can I... Can I, like, change some camera settings or something? Ah, there we go, I can zoom in and out. Gotcha, gotcha. Nice, nice. Alright, coming! Hold on, I can't see where I'm going. Alright, found it. <laughs> found the stairs! Ooh, look at that, that's a cool painting. Hello? That's lovely looking. Back here. That's a murder table! You should know a murder table when you see one. You've seen a movie, right? Take a picture of it. Take a picture. Oh. Really? You can... <laughs> you can have the camera face itself? What is this? Okay, I have, I have no depth of field slider. Maybe if I get really close. Nope, I just have to be focused on the door. Okay. Good photography there, my dude. So glad to have you on the team. Hold on, I want to get a selfie. <laughs> Did I shave today? Hmm, a bit of stubble there. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Oh, beautiful angle. Hmm. Why? What? What kind of lens do you have on this that you can't focus on that from that distance? Oh, beautiful. I did say it would change color when I can actually take a picture of something. Oh yeah, there's the money shot right there. Oh, the feet. <laughs> this is going on my blog. Hmm. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So, maybe we, we should take care. Probably. Did I bust the door down? Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh. Ah! Shit. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get the fuck out of me. <laughs> you and me both. Was he the devil? The truth behind America's first serial killer. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers, and none have intrigued him more than H.H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing, separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? Was he the devil? Asher, I don't know. I didn't even know him. That was a... Big gash in the table. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Oh. Rebel. <laughs> no, just pure ADHD and boredom. What was it gonna do? Listen? <laughs> no, 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 no. I 
vandalized. Hold on. Photo hold on. I'm in the shot. I'm in myself. Photo up. There you go. Now the depth of field is working. Hey, look this way! Beautiful, beautiful. Artistic. What's this? There's no way in hell I would not touch the buttons on that. I'd be touching everything in here. A secret book. Mark can extend his monopod to reach high objects. Hell yeah, Mark! Boof. Oh, nice. If that had hit the floor, we never would have been able to read it. Births, deaths, marriages. Mr. and Miss, Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Spring announced the birth of their daughter, Marilyn, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son, Maurice, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. On behalf of their daughter, Lucinda Munday, ground, or <laughs> ground prank parents, George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announced the birth of their grandson Hector Whalen on June 11th at White Oak Hospital. I'm assuming one of these is a killer in the making. I don't know. None of those names are familiar. Mm. I don't want to check out this room first. I'm afraid the other room will progress me too Look far and I won't be able to come back. Paper. That's a shot right there. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. Can you get out of my shot? I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Get out of the way! My god. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Thank you. I just want to get Rod my photos. Gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Yeah. Probably because there's rotten bodies wow. somewhere. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. It's dead as heck. Look at you. I'm getting a picture of you looking at art. Uh, caught you picking your nose! Ha ha ha! Everyone point and laugh! Ha ah, silly nose picker! There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Use your monopod. Take a picture of it. Put the flash on. Mm How -hmm. oh, am I ever gonna get in there? There's gotta be a way through. There's gotta be a better way. Can I climb this? I want to go up. Baby one up. Oh, okay. Sometimes it's X, sometimes it's square. Sometimes you inspect. Sometimes you don't. Wow, the lighting here is really cool. Actually, you know what? There's plenty of windows in here. There's lots of natural daylight. Just hush my mouth. Jump it, jump it, jump it! Don't get those perfectly white runners dirty, though. Ah, <gasps> secrets! I knew it. All right, here we go. Here we go. You know what, Ellie? We really are the last of us. Keep your head down. Keep your head down and stay going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is artistry. People won't get it now, but in like 10 or 20 years, these pictures are going to be mint. People just don't understand my stylings yet. See, this guy gets it! Where is that camera? Is he hitting in the wall? Do you think he's worried now? 
There, evidence. Oh, it's the oh the controls are ass on this. There you go. Okay. Okay. Hold on there now. There you go. Hey, God, what an artist I am. I'm painting the room with furniture. That's what a good artist does. Taking your sweet fucking time, though. <laughs> Hiya! Hiya! This should work. Mark? You okay in there? I'll be right back. Uh huh. Do I have to put the fucking thing back? Ugh. Wah, 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 wah. Wait, hold on. I gotta get a picture of how smart I am. Make sure the lighting's good. Perfect. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There you go. Bit of a Dutch angle on it. Nice one, Mark. Nice one. That's why you're the head of the household. Screw Charlie. You're the one I want to follow into battle. Oh. Oh, climbing up again. There's so much climbing going on. Feel this. <laughs> oh, strong knees. Oh yeah, this is the room I saw the key in. Turns out it's not the right key at all. Balcony! Let's go! Gun. Did you see that? Kate? Stay right there. That's actually really creepy looking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like the photography I'm taking. I'll go back in my room and look at all of these pictures I took like... The fuck was I thinking? <laughs> Ta-da! We made it. Whoa. Jess, come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. I agree with him. I get very like wobbly knees even if I'm like two flights of stairs up <laughs> don't worry you look fine what are you worried about miss always be camera ready you look amazing as usual dude my traits are updated I am romantic protective sincere passionate I'm a tiny bit tolerant and immature though like, just a little bit. I can be a little immature, and I can be a little tolerant. Most of the times I'm completely intolerant of everything, but I'm a little tolerant today. It's getting better. Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H.H. H. Holmes. That's cool. Don't touch it. <laughs> oh, you okay? No! I just... This fucking thing... <gasps> nowhere. Son of a bitch! Oh, stop it! See? <gasps> what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. Some sort of Fazbear? It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. <laughs> no. -uh. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> I did all of that just to go to dinner? Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. You guys know we can all hear you downstairs, right? I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, 
I saw that. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Uh, that's what directors have to be. He seems to think he owns us. Eh. Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. That piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. <laughs> Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana and Entertainment. Hmm. <laughs> I thought we'd move on together. <laughs> I can't wait to say that. He just won't let the breakup go. I guess... I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Oh, Mark, you mean all together. Look, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect... I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. Mm -hmm. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. I told you he'd hear you. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. <laughs> Aaron puts Great. on her noise cancelling headphones like, Mommy and Daddy are fighting. Future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. He's a bit of a knobhead. Hello. Is that supposed to be you sewing something? Put your eyes back in, they're popping out of your head. Ooh, let's do a seance! Hey Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? Let's all just relax. Let's be concerned. I like a little concern going on. That's the character arc Who I want to take. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Matt? you. Matt? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big <laughs> ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Because he wants to kill us. Stop questioning my judgment. Yeah, get angry. I'm about done with you all questioning my judgment. The man tells me he has artifacts useful to our investigation. Look around you. 
Did he lie? There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are <laughs> You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm. Oh, God, Shit. Jamie. Can She's right. trying to make this worse. You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. I found a pack of invisible cigarettes. <laughs> is he going to do that? I kind of want him to do that. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? Are we just going to sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true Lana entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. <laughs> well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. I would like to toast all of you. I kind of want to be hostile. <laughs> no, I'll toast. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. Oh, what about Aaron? Aaron, we would be lost without you. And Aaron lost my cigarettes. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like kneecap her in the streets. And finally to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. That's actually nice. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. It's launcher. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Uh, Maybe he can we still hear talk you. About it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. <laughs> I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? Um... I'll be authoritative. Yeah, I'll be having a strong word. I'd be like, Oi, you, what's the deal? If he tells us to stop, I'm gonna be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes, perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Love it. Shouldn't take me long at all. <laughs> Great. 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 
<laughs> Charlie, sitting by yourself, talking away. Uh oh! That's some good work. Fine craftsmanship. Uh oh. He's making a Charlie Lonnet. Uh oh. He's gonna make dolls of all of us and have us kill ourselves. <gasps> Scary. Hello, guys. Tiny child. You? Oh. That's cool. Oh, creepy. She put on nice cancelling headphones and now we're listening for the sound of the crying. Oh, I hate that. Are you down here? Oh, and then she took off the headphones. That's such a neat little audio effect. There's a JP Hunter is an author, counselor, who following a unique monthly plan. You will learn anxiety busting. I don't care right now. Oh, maybe I'll care a little. The five for five technique. Slowly take a deep breath in, fill your lungs with air, your abdomen expands, exhale, and your abdomen contracts inwards. Or if you're like me, I had to go to a breathing therapist last year because I don't breathe properly. Because I'm an asthmatic and I try and get more air into my lungs, I, I end up breathing into my chest only and I wasn't doing any stomach breathing, which is like you breathe into your lower, like you expand your diaphragm out down below. That's what singers and like voice actors and everybody do. You belt from your diaphragm. But I wasn't doing that. I had to do like classes and therapy sessions where I actually had to like sit and like breathe into my abdomen and breathe out and I tried to like reinvent the way I breathe and I don't think I still really got it but whenever I have to like breathe properly or I start getting like bad bad chest compressions I have to like do that breathing technique it also resets your vagus nerve which is like between like your abdomen and your brain it's great or just put your headphones on or, yeah, fuck me, right? Or just put your headphones on. Never mind what I just said. What were all those physical therapy sessions for? You're right. I should have just put my headphones on. <laughs> Don't bang the door. It stopped. Oh, that's so creepy. Why did it stop? Oh, I'm really freaked out now. Hello? Am I able to eavesdrop? Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. Cover the ground with more cement cuts. Trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. There's a camera in this one. The execution of H.H. H. Holmes. Oh, don't be something right behind me. Okay. I heard a door bang though. Oh. I hate that. Did the hallways just change? Oh my god! It is just like the murder castle. The walls would like 
close in on one another. How's this premonition? Okay, but that's a pair of lungs. Oh, I get it, because lungs are attached to Erin because she's asthmatic, so we got to see her death in this premonition. I like it. Symbolism. But also, these premonitions never help. It's always like, here's what can happen. Do you avoid it? Do you play into it? Is it gonna happen? Am I screwed? I don't know. It's basically just like, hey, this can happen in the game, by the way, but it never shows me how to avoid it. When a guy with a knife shows up to try and kill me, don't let him kill me. Okay, got it. <laughs> Why? You're not freaking out about this? That lighting is so cool. I see my big shadow on my face on the wall. <laughs> oh my god, so creepy. This sucks. Jesus. Okay, sorry. It's time to start running, Aaron. Run toward the danger. My don't be scared. Song. Sing it, and I won't be scared long. I'm still scared. Oh my God. Ugh. What? Whoa! Damn it! You're our electrician. <laughs> Breakers. Okay, nothing fishy about that. Not at all. Ooh, nice. Hello? Oh, Mr. Demet? Their lighting in these games is so fucking nice. The lady looks ten years younger, but how? Columbus Spa. <laughs> okay. Why are you turning off the light for these? I want to see. Dear American Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. Uh, Codicil? Codicil? Has been added. I've never seen that word before. Which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for their records. Please remember, you can view any of your will or life insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. <clears throat> okay, so you died. Because Mr. Belknap was the other letter I read in the bar. It's locked. 
get out of here. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Yep. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Choices, Jamie. <clears throat> Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Uh, item name, H.H. H. Holmes authentic hat. Authentic original hat as worn by H.H. H. Holmes in famous photographs. You spent $24,000 on a hat? Maybe I could sell my Jacksepticeye hat like that. The original. Oh! We could auction up my actual Jacksepticeye hat for charity. That'd be awesome! <clears throat> Dear Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. In the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Okay. All this snooping around is gonna get me killed. Or more prepared, actually. My god, all these fucking letters. <clears throat> Why are you just hiding them in random places? Mr. Belknap, following our discussion regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find an overleaf breakdown of the work. It can commence the 13th of January. It'll be done in 10 weeks. Okay. $838,000. My god. <clears throat> Actually, not as much as I expected for a property this size. Ah, there we go. Shortcuts. Shortcuts, people. Shortcuts. Rewind it! Check if there's a tape! Why are we just pressing play and that's it? <clears throat> I want more! Is this a stage? <laughs> I had to take a good long look at it before I opened it. I'm just back out here. What is going on? <clears throat> oh, I can turn the pages. Ah, uh, there's us. Secret found. The guest book for the hotel. It shows when the crew checked in and when the previous parties checked in before them. I see. So the 25th. 10, 25, 22. 10, 26, 22. Okay, the Morellos? So you weren't here not that long ago. Is this a script? Huh. Katie's getting creative with Charlie's script. Huh. Go for a 360 instead. A hand reaches into frame and rings the desk bell. As intros go, this one's utter garbage. I see criticism, I don't see any better suggestions. That is fair. Criticism is one thing, but at least, like, I mean, that's what I try to do. If I ever criticize anything like a movie or a game or something, though I'm probably guilty of just blatant criticism as well and not actually providing suggestions, but I try to. <clears throat> Tip. Damn. You mean the time that I went in to fix the breaker box and did nothing, didn't actually fix the lights? Did I miss the breaker box?
It's hard to see. Oh, look at this room. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What if... Okay, I'm just gonna cancel this out now. <clears throat> what if it's 0178? That's the, the number we saw on the wall. No. Dang it. Find the code for the electrical closet. You got it. Is Was there anything on any of these? I didn't realize I should have been looking for a code. Uh... I mean, like, 1741? I doubt it's that. I feel like it's more blatant, but we might as well try. Okay. Ugh. Can you be a little faster with this? No. Wait, it changed! 0180! That has to be the code, right? Jesus, you got slow fingers. You got slow ass fingers. No. I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I kept looking at this. It's right there! 0451! Ay, okay. Okay, that was an ordeal. That, that didn't take me long. No, 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 no. I found that really quickly. Don't worry. Ah, God! You didn't go right when I press right! Oh my God, why are your fingers so slow? There you go. There you go. Boom, baby! We have power! Oh, thank God. <laughs> Something from this century. Exactly. Okay, so. Let's start at the bottom. To that. To this. Yeah. Uh oh. Can I do to this? Wait. Did that work? <laughs> I didn't think I got that right. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, get your head out of the camera. All right, we've explored this place enough. It looks great during the day. Heavy rainfall? The hell is going on behind here? Take a seat. Oh. Whoa, my red hair is like glowing crazy in this. Whoa! Okay, just turn it on because that's freaking me out. The Barbershop Quartet. You guys are terrible! It sounds like you're all singing a different song. Why did you stop? Is there a secret? Ooh! A tape! I can put that in the cassette player! Ah! Damn it! These scares legitimately terrifying me. Am I just getting older? Do I fear for my life more? Because I'm closer to death every day? 26 year old me would have been fine with this. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Uh huh. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? 
Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Oh. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Mon Pa Kettle, take a train in from Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. Yeah, he did do that, didn't he? That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet... All those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was going to hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. But you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels. When you watch the fire burn out of somebody. Damn. That line delivery was great. Wait, so who are we... Who are we watching? I'm sorry, there's so many documents, I can't keep up. And there's so much, like, history between... Killers. Uh, Just one man! How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but... We're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. <laughs> Thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. Yeah, let's be nice. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. This the Charlie Lunnett <laughs> way. What the hell? Was that Aaron screaming at the doll? Yep. Hey, hey, help! Oh, somebody help me! I can't see a thing. I... Uh, guys, guys, please! Oh, so much dust! Aaron? My asthma. Uh, instructive. Oh, that's so creepy. Okay, relax. Yeah, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Aaron? It's okay. Diaphragm, diaphragm. You're not hurt, are you? Hey, my inhaler. I need my inhaler. What's your room number? I... Hurry! Charlie, where's the room? Next to mine, down the long hallway from you. Aaron, I'm going. Try to breathe slow and easy. Oh, yeah, so easy when you're having an asthma attack! <laughs> We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One. She's two, not doing any of that. <laughs> out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I. I can't. 
Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Oh, you're not gonna get stabbed in here, are you? Who's there? Oh, Christ, Aaron! He's wearing a mask! This is the premonition we saw! You will survive this! I... Uh, guys? Guys, somebody is in here. With me. Oh, God. Oh, my panicky went up. Don't trust it. It's full of mustard gas. Uh, attack! Right in the groin! Oh, we're dead. I'm so dead. We're dead. Right in the groin! That is not where I aimed! Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. You're about to get a knife in the- You're about to get that straight up into your chin. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I just got you killed. Oh, God. I should have known. I didn't see that that's what you stabbed me with in the premonition. She's fine. You'd survive that. Should have took the inhaler. Well, what was I supposed to know? He could have killed me with the inhaler! What? Where the fuck is she? Not here. Obviously. There's no one in here. Where is she? I don't, um... Aaron? Aaron! Then she found a way out. There must be a door or a hatch or something. Way out. It's a closet, Charlie. Okay, I'm just gonna say... That's my bad. <laughs> that... Didn't go according to play. In hindsight, it seems obvious. Ah. There you are. Hello. I wonder how Jamie will take the news. Probably not well. Just when they seem to recognize how they felt about each other. Ah. Uh. <laughs> now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? On the mainland. Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. <laughs> In some ways, I envy you. <laughs> I only record events. You get to That's you guys me. right now being like, Jack, come on! You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Oh no! They won't make a poor choice in their own. No, I'll, I'll make the poor choice for them. Don't even worry about that. Oh my god! Because normally in these scenarios, whenever I play these games, I always take the like... the pacifist route, because I'm like, no, I'm not gonna attack because... I want everybody to get along and be nice. And this time I'm like, you know what, take some risks, be assertive, attack. Don't let's just let the things happen to you, actually fight back. Because a lot of times I've gotten characters killed by not doing that. And then this time I do it and I get stabbed in the chin. You'd survive that. It's just a tiny little spike on the bottom of that. That, that wouldn't even penetrate the top of your mouth. Damn it. I didn't see that it was a thing. Should have been obvious, but I thought it was a knife. Because I was like, how would he kill her with a freaking microphone? Whatever, man. <laughs> She's dead now. She doesn't have to worry about asthma attacks anymore. She's gone. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode. Great, cool, glad that happened. Really, really enthused by that. Really can't wait to read the comments on this video. Yeah, just go. Just go down to the comments and be like, Jack, I can't believe you've done this. That's all I want to see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Tune into the next episode to see who we get killed next.